everyone we are back in Hannah Carlson's seasons book to have a go at the um crown um I thought we would deal with that one first um what I tend to approach when I do these sorts of pages where we've got some jewels here on a necklace and we've got jewels on the crown I will tend to use the same colors for both I think then it ties it all together so I'm sort of thinking about that um while I'm um you know deciding quite how to do it but we will deal at the top here first and uh, in so we can just see the top there we go now we have obviously um what looks like little gemstones and we have um what would be metal now i thought um i'd quite like to do some sort of silvery colors rather than gold just for a bit of a change i do a lot of gold so just gonna find out my darker colors now when you want to do a silver oh, sorry about my arm stretching over um you want to use cold grays so i'm going to start with a little bit of black um in a few places and then we'll go for some as i say cold grays um we are just going to deal with just this bit we're not going to go down here we do the bits that are hanging down so right on the edge here i'm thinking it might be a little bit black like that and then the same over here like that now I am not going to do much more than that for the black I'm thinking because this isn't central um, the dark bit might be slightly larger on this side so I'm actually going to bring the black across a tad more because if you think we've got one two three four gems here we've got one two three four five here so if i bring this up a little bit more i think it'll work better now this isn't particularly neat it's okay we're going to layer over with other colors so i'm going to leave that there for now but i will come back and use some more black later and we're going to use whoops our greys so this is our 90% cool grey so it's actually quite dark as well I'm not going to use loads but I'm going to put some over the black and it will intensify it a little bit as you can see hopefully I'm trying to go slowly and carefully because I don't want to cover over my gemstones with this colour if I can help it if I do I, because I'm going gently I should be able to erase it or it just won't be too much I'm not gonna worry too much about it so just sort of spreading it out here and fading it a bit so we can blend in our next gray in a bit and do the same over here just gently bring the color out just notice the sun's come out it's going to come across our desk luckily it's um, not on this side of the book at the minute so I'm hoping it's going to be okay there we go now with this darker colour I'm also thinking about some of the other areas like see here we've got in between we've got all these circles which look to me like they would all be gemstones but in between we've got little tiny gaps and I want to fill those in with this colour I think they would be quite dark and shadowy but I want them to be slightly lighter as I go towards the middle which uh, means that I press a little bit lighter as I go up my eyes are going funny it's quite small now normally when I do a metallic I would do the shine right in the middle of the item but here the middle of the item isn't the middle of the picture but if you look at her face which is covered you can't see I have done the shine comes right here um, on her chin and her nose so I think I'm gonna just keep it make the shine in the center the shiniest bit in the middle so this bit is really gentle and light you can barely see it. I'm gonna use my next color as well 
on these and then I'm going to start putting a little bit more in as we get towards the edge. It seems complicated, it isn't really like that. Now the, oh and we're going to actually do it at the bottom as well, we've got this down here, we do the same thing. And there's a lot going on on this crown and I'm sort of tempted to start doing other areas as well but I won't, we'll just try and do a few bits at a time. It gets tempting to sort of, oh I'll just do these loops and these lines and you know, no, I don't want to confuse you. So we'll do it bit by bit. I probably would do it all at once if it was if I was doing it on my own, but I won't. Now our next grey, we're just moving through the greys. So we have got the 70% cool grey. Okay, and we're going to start back on this bit. Just fill this in a little bit. We don't want to fade it down. We want to actually fill in the gap so it looks a bit darker because this isn't a particularly light colour, it should be able to do that for us. Just going around our items. And now we can start to extend that colour along a bit. I don't know, I don't very often do silver crowns. It's nice for you to see something a little bit different. I have got quite a few different crown tutorials that I've done over the years. Um, maybe not as many as I think. Um, in Johanna Basford there's a few. I think I did one in Ivy. Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. But anyway. I'm pretty sure I've done a gold one. But if I haven't and you want one, tell me. I'm sure um, Hannah's always got loads of crowns. So we can do I've got to do one later today. Actually I'm doing Forest Towson Forest Kingdom. I've nearly finished it. And uh, um my penultimate page. Now here I'm gonna go over the top of these ones quite hard. Doesn't matter if they look black. And start to lighten here like we did before. If it goes too dark, don't worry, you can go over the top of it with a lighter grey or even a white or erase it a tiny bit. Be careful when erasing though because it might smudge. What I would do was sort of dab the eraser on rather than swipe it back and forth because it might smudge it into the um, these circles. And uh, anyway, I've got I've got a couple of pages left in Tales from Forest Kingdom, and I had a choice. I could either do the snake page, which is a double. I'm scared of snakes, or I could do the what? There's a page, another page I've got left, which has got rats and mice on it. Now, some of you, if you've been um, keeping up with my videos, you'll know that we've had a bit of a problem with some sort of rodent in our house in between the in the cavities not actually in the house but even so and it, it's above in the ceiling above my bed so um i didn't really fancy coloring rats or mice although they look cute just before i went to bed because i don't want to be thinking about it the good news is they've got a lot quieter and we are hoping hoping that we have managed to get rid of them or most of them the really noisy ones have gone so I can sleep in my bed this is 50% cool grey this can be the last grey I use on this bit I'm not going to do any more on these I'm quite happy with that I just want to just extend this bit a little bit further um yes so um so yes it's got a lot quieter so we think um the pest control has worked and got rid of them. I also um, potentially identified where they were coming in but uh, I'm not sure. So anyway it doesn't matter. Um, hopefully that's all sorted so I've been getting a bit of a better sleep. I've got a bit behind to be honest in everything because I've been so tired. I want to leave a little bit of white but do a little bit in between here just really lightly. 
the air so uh, I'm feeling a bit better. Fortunately the boys haven't heard them and they've uh, been okay. I also got some earplugs so I could sleep in my bed and put them in. They didn't fit particularly well but they muffled things enough for me to be able to sort of hunker down under the duvet and pretend it wasn't happening sort of thing which is good. Right we're gonna do all the other metallic areas on the crown now and then we're going to come back with our black and do a little bit of shadow underneath the gemstones okay so my first thought is these loops here I think they would be and I think because they're sticking out I I think I'm just going to use actually this 50% color and make them a little more intense here and just fade up to sort of nothing at the top and do that with all of them so just sort of fade them up like this so hopefully they look like they're catching the light and shining and it's actually nice and simple I want a little bit of simple <laughs> like that and I'm thinking all these bits in here can be a gemstone of sorts and the same as we go along here what else are we going to do after this we can do the lines that are going across wise across here I'm going to try to just do it in this colour and then fade it off like that yeah, I think that works fade this one off more quickly because it's got less distance till there now, oh, we've got this same going on up here. Now these bits on the top, I'm pondering, because these bits look like they could be a gemstone, but then we've got this circle on these, what's going on? Hmm. I am not sure. Have a think about that. And I've also got to decide what colour gemstones to do. Okay, now let me just look. Oh, this this piece. So hmm, I'm thinking let's make it darker down here and then lighter up there for this outside part. Like that. Do the same on all of these. It's a bit darker in the bottom. Lighter upwards. I'm thinking the light might be coming from above. that now now I'm thinking oh this bit in here all these bits inside might be slightly darker so I'm actually going to grab the slightly dark I keep hearing gurgling I think it's my belly <laughs> the 70% cool grey and I'm going to use it in here I'm going to use it around the edge like that and then maybe leave some white or lighter areas no I think I'm gonna have to go over those a bit so they just look a little bit so it looks like we're in the shadow here like that I think that's gonna work it's not always easy to quite work out what to do everywhere, but I'll, I'll try this. If you want to do it differently, we can. I'm just doing a darker bit around all of the elements and then scumbling into the space a bit. Like that. And then all of the little elements will be gemstones. And I'm thinking I might just keep them all the same colour. But what colour? Mm. Well, I quite like 
quite like her pinkish lips and I'm thinking maybe something that complements those and draws attention because I'm thinking if we do something that's a pinkish colour, I'm thinking maybe processed red, something like that, then but a bright, you know, um, then it might just help the lips to stand out, which I think they look really pretty. But I just particularly like that colour, that's why. But you might feel that you want to do a mix of different coloured gems. I also think um, a pinkish colour matches quite nicely with the silver. Okay, let me have a look now. Right, I'm going to grab my black. I'm going to do a bit of shadowing. So here it is, black. Um, I'm going to go firstly under this. Line here. Now I want to make it look like it's sort of slightly raised. Now I'm going to make my shadow lighter as I go up here because the colour of the metal is lighter. So here I can layer it up a little bit. But as I go up here, I keep it lighter. There we go. I'm going to sharpen this pencil. It's really quite sharp, but I need it very sharp. Okay. So, underneath all these little gemstones, I want to just put a little darker bit that looks like shadow. So they hopefully might look like they're standing out off the crown rather than being flat. It's not always easy to make it work, but I'm going to give it a go. This is the point where I stop breathing as I colour. I have heard of people. I set the artist that it can go a bit lighter here now. We're lightening our, our metallic is lighter. Um, the man who engraves tiny little figures on the ends of pencils. I don't know if you've seen them. I think most people have. Where and um, he obviously uses a microscope to uh, see what he's doing. But because it's such intricate work, he actually takes something to reduce his heart rate, a medication, and does it at night when nobody's about and it's quiet. That feels a little bit extreme to me, but what he produces is super stunning, but even so. Now I'm not sure what I'm doing for this sort of tendrils bit that's holding these gemstones. I don't know whether I should have done it in a silver. I think as we do the, um, we'll do the gemstones next and have a think about that. This is a little bit fiddly, but I think it's worth it. And I'm going to do a bit under these as well. aching a bit. It's very old. I had a, suddenly had a really sore arm yesterday. It just sort of cramped up and then in the night I had loads of cramp in my legs. I don't know whether I need to check what I'm eating. Right, I think, see under here, I'm just going to put a dark bit there. even stands out. I could do it, should do it with the other one as well really. But uh, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, it's all better today. It might just be that I'm unfit. I went for a walk 
I didn't go that far though, going to go further today. Sometimes cramp can be caused by um, over-exercising when you're not used to it. But uh, I don't, don't really think it was that. Someone said the other day that it would be nice to hear my boys and my family's voices on the video. Now my boys would never talk on my video but they do have their own channel and there's a link to it in my, um, I'm just looking for the process red, that's the magenta, I think this is the process red, yeah, just going to give it a sharpen, um, they, um, there's a link to it on my YouTube homepage, and so if you really want to hear them, you can have a little look, this is process red, now where should we start? Um, I'm going to start at the top. Now what I like to do with my gemstones is to make them darker on the edge and then gently fade them towards the middle so they look a little bit shiny. It's quite difficult to demonstrate on such a little one as I come across. You'll be able to see better. So I'm just layering up that edge and as I put layers towards the middle, I can even leave a little white bit, I probably won't. Now. Often with gemstones they do look nice if you put a little bit of white on them. I don't think I can with this colour, I think it goes neon pink. So uh, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm doing with this, I'm just going to colour around and leave that circle. Maybe we'll do a different colour one. Um, yeah, so I think um, some prismas go neon pink if you add white. Onto them, there is um there is a um a bleed proof white ink. It's is it Doctor PH or something that you can use. I have got some bleed proof ink, but I find it really really hard to apply neatly to the page because you'd have to use a paintbrush, and I'm not accomplished at using a paintbrush. If you are, if you know. Uh, and then it could be useful but actually what I tend to do actually I don't think this one does bleed because I haven't got a sticker I've put a sticker on the end of the ones that do and this one hasn't got one um, um, yeah what I tend to do is if I do want to put white lines on things I just avoid using the pencils that bleed it's much easier that way and I mark my pencils with a little bit of masking tape um, on the bottom, on the very bottom, because um, if you were sharpening it and had masking tape on, then that would upset your sharpener, wouldn't it? So I put it right at the bottom, beyond where I would sharpen it. I can always take it off if it gets really teeny. Okay, so there's our top layer. We're not really in the middle, are we? There you go. Now I'm going to do the next set. This one I'm going to fade towards the edge. These though do less towards the middle. So more layers on the outside and less as you go towards the centre. And it helps them to look more spherical. I don't know how well you can see. I guess it depends on whether you're watching on a phone or whether you're watching on a TV. You're going to get a very different um, view depending on what you're seeing. I'm watching. You may have seen me do this lots of times before anyway. So you could mix up your gemstone colour. Um, you could do other pinks, you could do um, some violets or even some of the purpley colours. Um, a mulberry might work, that sort of thing. Um, but I quite like the simplicity of sticking with the same one. But I know some people get a bit bored or they um, feel it looks a bit boring, you know. It's, uh, it's a very personal thing, colour, isn't it? It's, uh, I find it fascinating. You know, we all have different colours that we like. 
different favourite colours. You know, what's your favourite colour? Pop it in the comments. I'm nosy. I want to know what your favourite colour is. Because I don't particularly like pink, but I like the pink of her lips in this page. Um, I, I'm happier with a carmine, you know, a sort of reddish pink or a sort of salmony pink rather than a fuchsia pink. Um, and but green is probably one of my favorites but olives like olive greens i love things that are yellow but i don't like coloring with yellow i find it tricky so uh, that's interesting I, purple used to be violet it used to be the color i found hardest to color with because i used to find it went very muddy and i tried to blend it but so uh, now i've learned a little bit more about using it so uh, that's how, sorry, just shifting in my seat to make sure I don't get back in as the train going by. Got my boys home today. It's a Wednesday. Usually um, they don't have classes on a Wednesday. This one I'm just blocking in because it's so small. My One of my sons did last week. He had a sort of revision workshop type thing. But um, yeah, Wednesdays not normally in so uh, they're both here not sure what they're doing i've told them i've got too much to do today and it's up to them to just get on i know one of them's got to try and finish a piece of software and the other one is revising so uh, but um, they seem to be doing a lot of chatting about chess there we go um there's just been the sort of championships going on to find out who's going to play the world champion or something so uh, we've got quite interested in that but it's nice that they have an interest outside of their studies and their computer games but <laughs> it's study time but anyway I've told them I'm not going to um, nag them at all today see how they get how they get on without it I'm uh, I have a feeling it'll be a disaster I won't do anything I know one son's done about five minutes work so far we'll see right now here I'm gonna do these here I'm not sure what to do with this bit. I shall keep thinking. Um, yeah, let's get on with this. These, I think I'm just going to make lighter towards the centre. Like this. My husband's getting very excited because it's getting very close to his um, semi-retirement is good he's got all sorts of ideas he's going to be putting a lot more in his coffee shop i think he's already made some greetings cards that he needs to put up but he wanted me to photograph them but they're very hard to photograph because they don't lie flat so i suggested he scan them instead so uh, i think he's going to do that at some point but he's just looking forward to having more time to uh, be able to do projects like this and although he knows art does not pay the bills you know it's a fact very few artists can make enough to do that but he um he wants to have a little go he gets really excited when he sells stuff or even when people download stuff from for free he's got some wallpapers and various things available for free and coloring pages actually um so it's boosts his confidence that people do that you know that they want to do that i mean i understand that because it's like when people watch my videos you know it's uh it boosts your confidence you know you want to make more and do more because you know people are enjoying it so that's really nice and uh so he's got he's going to be doing that and just working on art projects he wants to 
he said he was going to go to the museum and do some sketching. I think it's shut on one of the days he's off, but anyway, he's going to be off on Mondays and Fridays. And then in work on, obviously, oh, excuse me. Oh, that bit should be silver, shouldn't it? That's okay. Come back and do that bit in a bit. Um, yes, in work on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So uh, that's interesting. Okay, um, I'm going to go and do these, I think. But it, yeah, it'll be nice to have him home. I will still be doing my YouTube stuff full time, even though he's at home. Um, in fact, it might help me to have a bit more time to do it because uh, he might be able to help with some of the chores a little bit more. I don't think that's what he signed up for when he decided to uh, to um, do less work part time. But we'll see. He has actually, interestingly, um, I'm going to do these bits down here in this colour too. Since he um, started his ADHD medication, he's been helping a bit more with the chores. He seems to be a little bit more aware of what needs doing, which is nice. I think it's all part of the medication. And sometimes he isn't, but it's uh, it's rather nice. There we go. He says he's. He can really concentrate and hyper-focus now, which he couldn't do before. Now, I am going to grab the lightest grey that we used, which was the 50% cool grey, and do this little bit here. I'm just going to make it dark to light like that. And this tree. Now, I'm going to do just a few light bits on the edges and I'm hoping that it will work and just look a bit silver. I'm just going to put a bit in there, darken some of those bits a little bit so it stands out a bit better. Mm. There we go. Now we've got these four or five, six count dots there. I am going to use the mulberry for those. Um, here it is. I think it's going to work. Just the same technique as before. There we go. Now I think we do need some white pen just to finish this off. Um, I know, I've been, I've been ages, haven't I? Um, I'm going to use my jelly roll and I'm going to hope that it doesn't go um, um, I'm just trying to decide what side to do it on. I think I'm going to do them all on the right hand side. A little bit follow the curve of the um, of the edge of the gemstone doesn't show up massively but I think it could make a difference I think I'm actually going to do the whole of the top Then come down. I need to scribble. Yeah, that's what happened. The roller wall's got a little bit clogged. I'm actually going to do the edge of these as well. There we go. And then move along here. I think doing one little bit at a time 
is a little bit easier than trying to uh, dot all over the place. I'd be more likely to forget some bits. Scribble again. The um, pink pencil sort of can stain the white a little bit if you're not careful. And it doesn't show up as much. It's not showing up massively anyway. It's a little bit there. The more intense the colour you use, the more the white will show up. I'm sure um, you've probably discovered that for yourself when you're trying to use a white. Now, obviously Hannah has drawn some lines on here which might be supposed to be what we're covering up with white. However, I find that if I try and do that and go try and go over the black, the black makes hides the white, it doesn't cover perfectly, it's easier to avoid that. It's up to you, we just did this one didn't we? Okay. I might just put a little drop in her eye as well, because I didn't do that before. sure as to what to do here. Just trying to keep it on the same side really. Because in her eye that we left a little white bit but I might want to just make that a little bit bigger. Here. We'll do the bits on her face in a minute. not think this is worth it to be honest. Now I always get asked about white pens. I haven't tried loads. I find Poscas are very good. The Securas are very good. Um, I've had some cheap ones that are rubbish. I'm just going to do this bit of a eye here. Um, there we go. And so, you know, it's uh, it's tricky. There we go. There is what we've done so far. Come right out so you can see her. There she is with her. You can see the crown and the face all together now. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, but uh, you'll be able to find out when you tune in for the next video. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I um, hope you have a super day and happy colouring.